Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, we're going to continue our work that we started uh, for agile planning and portfolio management with Azure Boards. We have completed a bunch of things already. It's a really long lab, and each section is pretty long. That's why we divided this into multiple smaller videos. We completed the task one at the exercise zero, task one. We configured the project. Once we had done, we started working on the exercise one. We managed the agile project. We created teams, areas, and iterations. Okay. And once we are done configuring our teams and our sprints, we added some work items. Okay. And once we have added our work items, created our backlog and tasks, all that, the next thing was to manage the sprint itself and the capacity. So we kind of going through this line. From the boards, work items, uh, backlogs, then now the sprints. We configured our sprints, made sure that we have enough uh, capacity available, and uh, we even added some rules based on the type of work that you're doing, like the color coding. And in this particular video, we're going to continue where we left off, and we're going to customize the Kanban board. So this is not going to be the end of this lab. We'll have another video to end. Uh, to finish up with this long lab. So let's see, let's get started with this one. So in this one, customizing the Kanban boards, over here, if you read this little section over here, if you want to maximize the team's ability to consistently deliver high quality software, you can use Kanban. Kanban, uh, there are two main practices, okay? First of all, visualizing the work, the flow of work, okay? And if you want to visualize, you want to know what stage a certain task is located. Is it in, a, in progress, or not even started, or is it in done stage, okay? And the other thing that you want to know, uh, the number of amount of work in the progress, you could that you set work in progress limits, okay? You are then ready to track the progress on your convert. A lot of times, in if you don't have a, digital Kanban board, a lot of teams they use like a sticky notes with different colors. They just move the task from one to another and they create divisions in a big board. I've seen that as well. Uh, it just helps you uh, with the visual flow of work. Very interesting. Okay, Like over here, these boards, you can move them, right? This is a really, really good visual guide. Each column in a Kanban board represent a work stage. Okay, over here. Okay, to do, in progress, okay, then done. So each stage is a, a progress, a state of your work. And each card represents a user story. Okay, it could be a story or a bug or a blocker, whatever it is. So let's get started with our different steps. So first of all, in the vertical navigation plane, which is this one, we're going to go to boards and then boards. It's just a little confusing. So again, make sure whenever you see boards and then boards, Essentially, you want to go to boards. Under this board, you have the board. This is the one you want to click. So on this pane, what you have, uh, we're going to configure the team setting cog wheel. Anytime you see cog wheel, you go over here. Uh, two places you will see the cog wheel. This one is for the project setting itself. And this one is what you want for now. So you click on that one. Okay. And uh, in this one, uh, let's go down to the tag colors. Okay, that's what we're going to configure first. And uh, in the tag data box, type data. So hit the tag color and type data. Okay. And uh, leave the default color and save and close. Okay, let me go back and see what happened. Okay. Uh, on the settings panel, select the annotations tab. So you can click on the annotations tab next. Okay. I didn't really need to close this one. This, this time I'll keep it open. Uh, over here you see uh, you have annotations for task, GitHub, and test. Okay, You can specify annotation. You would like to include it on cards to make them easier to read and navigate. Now in this one, uh, go down to the tests tab. So this is the next one. Okay, the test tab enables you to configure how tests are going to appear. We are not change anything. So this is the default option is to create new plans using the area iteration of the selected cards. So that is fine for now. 
so you can click since we have not made any changes i can just click on cancel so be done with this on the board tab of the poll with the right click on the rectangle representing as a customer i want to view new tutorials so as a customer i want to view new tutorials okay uh, right click on the on this panel interesting right click doesn't do anything and uh, select open maybe they're saying just open a new window is that what they're saying i think i just need to click on that one that will open up this on the as a customer i want to view the tutorials panel at the top of the panel to the right of the zero comments entry okay so i am here so there is the zero comments and there's the tag click on add add a tag and that's where we created a tag in our previous section or a little bit ago so that's the data tag we're going to add okay and hit enter okay so this data tag is now associated with this particular story on the as a customer i want to view tutorials panel at the top of the panel okay this is what we just did okay in the resulting text box type data this is what we just uh, and then what they are saying repeat the previous step to add the ux tag so in this one let's do a ux tag and hit and save so there we go so it's got the data now for the data we already created a rule remember we went over here uh, went to the setting and went to styles or tag colors we created a tag color for the for the for the data we didn't create anything for the for the ux if you wanted you can create one make the ux really deep red and save and close look at that that's what you are doing really uh, on the as a customer, I want to view new tutorials panel. See the close. So we have already done that. And uh, the next on the board panel, click on the configure team setting again. You click on this one. And on the settings panel, click on the columns tab. So now we are looking at these columns. Okay. So this is the column. So this is what we're going to configure: new, approve, commit, done. So by default there are four. Do you need more? Maybe. So that's what we're going to configure. So click on that one uh, so here click on add column that means you need more columns over here click add column so what's the column you need maybe you have a QA so let's uh, add the column for QA approved let's just do that and in that WIP work in progress limit text box we're gonna reduce only one at a time can be QA approved okay the work in progress limits to one indicates that only one work item should be in this stage at a time. You would ordinarily set this higher, but there are only two work items to demonstrate in the feature that we are working on. Okay, on the settings panel on the columns tab, drag and drop the newly created tab between the committed and done. This is important. Okay, so over here on the columns tab we need this one here yeah, over here we need to move this one between the committed and the done so this i need to move it one more so now if i look at this i have committed then done here's in the middle i have the qa approved so that we have done so this is step 15. so now i can save and close and I should be seeing a new column, which is a QA true that showed up that's between the committed and done. Exactly, that's what we wanted. Very good. So now they're saying drag the as a customer. I want to see tutorials I recently viewed as a customer. So this one to here. Okay. Very good. And then drag as a customer. I want to view new tutorials work items from the QA approved stage into the done stage. Okay, and I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. Uh, as a customer, I want I want to see tutorials I recently viewed. Okay, so that's actually the wrong one I brought in. So recently viewed. This one is going to be in that approved stage, and I want to view new tutorials. This is going to be I'm going to pull down the down stage. There we go. So we are done with step 17 and 18.
and moved as a customer i want to see tutorials have recently viewed backlog items to the committed stage okay so now it was in approved i'm gonna put it back again in the committed stage maybe the qa didn't approve that one so i have to move it back on the boards panel click on the configure teams setting called cogwheel icon so board again over here and select the qa approved tab let's see do i have the qa approved tabs in here no it uh, we must be at a different hold on so go down to boards and come back to boards okay on the settings panel return uh, on the boards panel click on the cogwheel icon go down to the columns tab and click on the QA approved tab so I'm, we're back in here okay when we are here uh, we are going to enable the split column into doing and done so you can even add this into multiple so split columns into doing and done so this particular column that we have we're going to break that into two as well okay and let's see what else do we need to do on the QA approved tab at the bottom of the panel in the definition of done text box press persist all tests so let's see so here is the definition of done so when every key for the QA testing done means it has to pass every single QA testing that we're gonna do and at this time we can say save and close and if everything goes right I don't see anything this do you see anything I don't see anything necessarily so we might show up just give me one, one second <laughs> on the board panel click on the configure team setting again uh, on the setting panel select the swim lens so this is another interesting feature that we have Go over here and swim lens on the swim land let's add a swim land and the name of the swim land is expedite so we can expedite some of those things that we want to expedite on the settings panel save and close uh, so expedited one it showed up over here that's as expected so i can now pick up any items from here that are uh, not not approved committed or approved and i can move it over here if i want to okay back on the boards of the boards drag the drag and drop the committed work item into qa approach so this one let's put the qa item okay okay look look at that so doing and done is now showed up okay so i have to just refresh the page okay uh, doing state of the expedited swim land so it gets recognized as having priority so this one not only we're going to move it here we're going to also move it right there so it's in the swim land which is called the expedited one so we are saying hey guys uh, you may have other work that you're doing but please expedite this one okay and that's about it so i think that that's about it so that's the end of this lab let me just verify one more time and then we'll stop the video and the task five will go and um, finish up with the last video in this series all right i think that's all we wanted to cover in this one and again anytime if you like you can look at it as the backlog this view is not that great the view uh, work uh, work as a board <laughs> gives you all the nice visibility let me make that a little bit bigger now so all of that is now we have done a lot of customization we added a new column we added uh, the qa approved we divided split it into two different columns doing and done uh, we added tags we even set up rules for the different tags so that they are showing up pretty nicely so lots of work we have done to customize our our board again these column names may change based on what kind of board you're using but you'll be able to do a lot of same things that we have just done all right so that's the end of this video uh, i think we only have one more task to end uh, this long series so let's meet in the next video i will continue with the task five thank you very much